Yo, what's good, y'all? Back with another one. I'm just back to get my thoughts on 49ers and Packers game last night. No excuses, bruh, as a 49ers fan. Because that was just, that first half was just an epic disaster, yo. Like, I don't know what Kyle was calling in the first half. Like, he was on some straight bullshit. Like, seriously. Like, but second half, he he got back to normal. We started, we started getting a the rhythm. Then we finally came back and took the lead, but defense let us down. But I'm not even going to blame the defense too much because Kyle should have managed the clock better. You got to fucking, you got to play keep away when you have Aaron Rodgers or Tom Brady or anybody of that nature on the other side, man. Like, ain't no excuses for that shit, yo. <laughs> but the main culprit with the loss yesterday is Jimmy G. I ain't, I'm not, I'm not even going to fucking sit right here and sugarcoat it. He played so fucking erratic in that first half, man. Like, throws were high. They were basically, miss, he was missing receivers. Like, I don't know what the fuck he was doing, yo. Like, as much as I'm a Jimmy G fan at times, he gets on my fucking nerves, yo. Like, the 49ers should have won that game. No question about it. Like, come on now. Like, I'm not even going to sit right there and sugarcoat what the fuck happened last night, man. Jimmy with these goofy-ass turnovers, especially that fucking fumble that gave the Packers fucking three points. Yes, he made up. He made up, I mean, getting the touchdown, the go-ahead touchdown. I give him credit for that. He's He's got guts. I don't... I'm never going to take that away from him. But at the same time, you got to stop turning. You got to stop making goofy ass plays, man. Like, seriously. Like, now next week, we have Seattle. Seattle's going to come in super desperate because their season's basically on the line next week because they, they're they struggling, especially on defense. Like, they let Kirk Cousins give up, third, give them 30. Like, he usually gets his numbers after the Vikings are down. <laughs> but last night, I mean, yesterday, he just tore them up. And the fucking Seahawks is in trouble. So that's why I said, man, we got to we gotta fucking, we got to match their intensity next week, point blank. Like, it ain't no sleeping. Like, not in the NFC West. Like, we got the fucking Seahawks and then the Cardinals and back-to-back weeks, man. So... We got to get on our fucking shit, man. Like, point serious. Like, because that was just, that was some bullshit last night, man. Like, we literally let the fucking game get away, yo, in the first half. And then the second half, like I said, we played much better. We played the way we're supposed to play, but the defense let, let us down. I don't know what the fuck they were doing on that last fucking possession. With Devontae Adams, like, how the fuck does he not get double teamed? Like, come on, bro. Come on, D'Amico. You better than this, man. Like, I know it's your first time as a coordinator, but I'm not I'm not one to give excuses when shit is being when shit is goofy. But like I said, it's on the next week. I'm not giving out no fucking passes. Like Jimmy, he's playing for his job next week. If he loses to Seattle, Trey Lance will see will get the job after the bye me before the Arizona game or after the bye week. Trey Lance is going to play. He's going to start because Jimmy can't afford to keep doing goofy shit like that, man. Like come on, man. Like you fucking 29 years old now, dog. Come on, dog. Like you should know better. I understand the interception with Jair Alexander because that was that was just a great play by Ja, but that fucking fumble ain't no fucking excuse for that, yo. And and neither is the offensive line play. I don't. I'm I'm more disappointed in them than any other unit on the fucking field. The secondary I understand because you're going against a Rod, and then you fucking. Have injuries, so I understand that. But fucking the the offensive line was terrible last night. Like I don't know what the fuck they were doing. 
That was a that was a terrible performance. They that that just tells me that they let their fucking guard down because you played great against Philly and Philly has a much better defensive line than Green Bay. And you chose not to fucking show up last night. Like that shit was just weird, man. But like I said, on the next week, no excuses made. I'll get back to y'all later because I got more videos to chalk out. But got to take my kids to school. I'm going to holler at y'all. Peace.